So, wait, I'm, so I'm flipping through the fucking book. What's with all the F Morris Minor pictures? Well, I know what it is, but do you know what it is? Because I used to have one of these cars, and for you all that don't know, the Morris Minor is like an old granny car. But I'm wondering what you made of Joe's fascination with that particular car. There was a car obsession all through our kind of creative friendship. There was always cars. Let's rent a different car every week. Let's get a cool car. His Morris was kind of, had this status. In a way, having a granny car, it was like a good kind of like, fuck you to, you know, anyone that would judge, you know, to soup up the granny car. Let me tell you the real background about having that car, because I had exactly the same one, not that car, but another Morris yeah, Minor. Yeah. It's because when you were in that car, the cops would leave you alone. Ah. There's no serious criminal or bad yeah. man or villain would be riding around in a Morris Minor. There so the go. cops almost not see them. In fact, before my Morris Minor, I had a Chrysler car. Plymouth Satellite, I think. Just like the one in um, Starsky and Hutch. And I'm talking about with the you jacked up wheel. pulled over all the time. With the jacked up wheel. I got pulled up all the goddamn time. You'd be heading out for the cinema and I missed the beginning of the film. So I got rid of that, got a Morris Minor, never got stopped again. It's like an undercover yeah. car, kind of. Tell us what it was like to drive the Morris Minor, Josh. Oh, I, don't, I can't drive. <laughs> I'm a New York City boy, I can't drive. It's about as basic as you can get. You know, it's one step away from being in the Flintstones. That's what a Morris Minor is. Yeah, I mean, I can't say that driving with Joe was like, you always felt a little bit like, okay, just hang on. Hold up a minute, you're telling me you can't drive? I can't drive, I- So what, hold up, so what was that Laurel before. Canyon story about? During the earthquake weather sessions, we would rent a different car from like the fancy Hollywood, like you'd get a different vintage car every week. When the studio session was done, we would get in the car and drive back up to the top of Lookout Mountain where he had this house. One night on those windy roads when you're going up, I don't know at what point when you kind of pull off to go up to Lookout Mountain and he guns it and then the cops, the cop kind of puts the siren on and he goes, let's see if we can outrun them. I'm like, oh, fuck. So, we're zooming up to the top. He thinks that we can get to the top and get in the in the driveway and close the thing and that the guy will, you know, and the house is at the top in a circle, so there's nowhere to go. So it's pretty obvious, like, the, where we went to. We get to the top. The guy finally gets us in the driveway, and he gets out, and he comes over, and he goes, like, oh, you know, I guess you guys had a nice mountain ride there, you know, uh, don't let it happen again, and then leaves us. Joe could get out of anything. But also we were two white guys. And also with that British accent, when you drop yeah. that in the States, it's like, oh, you're a Brit. Like, you know. But we were kind of a danger to, <laughs> to <Yourself>. society and <laughs> <Yourself>. ourselves. <laughs> yeah, fuck ourselves, it's like other people.